hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to install the pi hole on our raspberry pi 4 with latest raspberry os bullseye okay so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i told you we are going to install the pi hole on our raspberry pi 4 raspberry os bullseye okay so simply open the chromium browser and search for pi hole then simply you need to scroll down and we are going to use their official github repository so github as you can see a black hole for internet simply select it and it will open the github repository okay so simply scroll down scroll down scroll down and then you will see the one step automated install so we are going to simply copy the link open the terminal and we are going to simply paste that command over here inside the terminal and simply hit enter now it will start the installation process okay so as you can see this is what the logo pi hole logo pi hole automated installer simply hit enter then free and open source simply hit enter then static ip needed yes we need a static ip so simply press the arrow key come to the yes and hit enter okay then i have configured here a wlan interface of our raspberry pi 4 so i am going to select the WLAN 0 interface if you connect your Raspberry Pi 4 with your router using LAN cable then by default ETS 0 option is there but right now I have configured or I have connect my Raspberry Pi 4 with my router with the help of WLAN 0 means the Wi-Fi interface so I am going to select here a WLAN 0 so simply press the down arrow key then for selecting the WLAN 0 we need to press the shift button from our keyboard so just press shift button then as you can see right now the WLAN 0 is selected now simply press the tab button come to the ok and hit enter then you will see select the upstream DNS provider ok so select by default it is a google so we are not going to change we are going to select a google which is the by default option simply now press the tab button come to the ok and again hit enter then pi hole relies on third party list in order to block ads so by default as you can see this is what the options is selected so don't change anything simply press the tab button come to the ok and hit enter then static IP address so this is what our Raspberry Pi 4 WLAN IP address 192.168.0.103 this is the IP address of mine in your case of course it's a uh, different okay so simply just hit enter then again simply hit enter then here do you wish to install the web admin interface so by default it is on so don't change anything simply press the tab button come to the ok hit enter here it is also don't change anything simply press the tab button come to the ok the light httpd server ok as you can see the light httpd simply by default it is on simply so press the tab button come to the ok hit enter then do you want to log the queries yes so simply press the tab button come to the ok hit enter again simply here also select a privacy mode for FTL simply don't change anything press the tab button come to the ok hit enter that's it now it's installing ok so friends as you can see the installation complete means we have successfully configured our pi hole on our raspberry pi 4 now simply hit enter that's it now we need to open the browser and we are going to enter our raspberry pi 4 ip address which is the 192.168.0.103 in my case okay so simply as you can see now main thing is what here what is the command for changing the password okay 
pi whole hyphen a space hyphen p basically we are going to assign the new password for our user so simply we are going to run this command first okay so simply sudo pi whole hyphen a space hyphen p and just hit enter as you can see enter a new password because we want to assign the new password for our pi whole user so i am going to enter the new password then confirm password that's it we have all the done with the setup now we are ready i am going to open chromium browser and then i am going to open the raspberry pi 4 ip address 103 slash admin hit enter it will open the pi hole dashboard okay that's it this is what the dashboard now simply we want to go with the login and here we are going to enter the password which we have just assigned for the pi hole user okay so simply enter the password and hit enter and now as you can see we have successfully logged in inside the pi hole dashboard so we are ready now what we want to do we want to add our raspberry pi 4 ip address as a dns server for our windows machine okay so simply i am going to minimize the vnc server and i am going to go here right click open network and internet setting simply it will open the uh, open network and internet setting then here we need to go the wi-fi because this is what my laptop and my laptop is connected with my router using the WLAN configuration means the Wi-Fi configuration okay so inside the Wi-Fi we need to go here a change adapter options then it will open the network connection then of course I am going to go inside the Wi-Fi so simply go to the Wi-Fi right click property then here internet protocol version 4 TCP IP version 4 select it then go to the property and it will open this kind of window as you can see so here we need to simply select the use the following DNS server address and here I am going to enter the Raspberry Pi 4 IP address which is 192.168.0.103 in my case of course in your case it will be different okay so enter the Raspberry Pi 4 IP address here in DNS server address simply click on ok close and close and this window also close now i'm going to open the firefox or of course you can you open uh, the chrome browser okay but right now i'm going to open the firefox here okay and then we are ready now i'm going to again open the vnc and here inside this dashboard we are going to block a website okay so now what we are going to do we are going to go inside the blacklist okay then here as you can see in domain as you can see in domain we are going to add a domain so i am going to let's say add a github okay so github.com this is what the domain which i want to block for my window user okay and then i am going to click on here add domain as a wildcard simply check mark this box and add to blacklist success and if you just scroll down here as you can see this github.com is now blocked for windows machine now if i minimize the vnc and if i enter here a uh, github enter and if i try to open the github as you can see we are going to trouble finding that site because we block the github.com uh, with the help of pihole for windows user okay now if i again open the dashboard and if i just delete it here now we have successfully delete the domain entry which is the github.com now if i open the firefox or uh, from our windows machine and if i just refresh the page as you can see the github.com is now open so same thing for any domain okay now i am going to block the facebook let's say inside again the domain facebook.com and i just want to check mark here 
then add a blacklist and facebook.com is now successfully added inside the blacklist now if i open the firefox from the windows and if i open new tab and just i want to go here this is what the uh, by default tab of uh, facebook from, from the uh, firefox simply select it and as you can see here we are having a trouble finding that site because we blocked the facebook.com with the help of pihole only for the windows machine okay now simply if you delete it successfully deleted now open the firefox and simply refresh and then as you can see it's opening the facebook.com so this is how friends you can use a pie hole for blocking any website okay so i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye